Hey guys, how you doing tonight? Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel. As some of you already know, I'm going on vacation in a couple of days. And I'm going to be gone for about two weeks. So I thought I would augment my video schedule and make a little something something for you guys tonight. Tonight being Saturday instead of Sunday, Monday. I just got home a little bit ago. I took a shower and a shave because believe me, when you don't see this face on a video, I look really terrible. So I took a shower, I took a shave, and while I was doing that I thought to myself, what could I make you guys? I didn't want to do anything too complicated because I didn't want to leave a bunch of dishes in my sink. So I thought, you know, I'll make another pasta dish. I know you guys are like, oh, you know, dude's going to do another pasta dish, but I love my pasta and I know you love your pasta. So tonight I'm going to leave you with a little something something. Tonight I'm going to do pasta linguine with a fresh spring onion pesto. My own version of a fresh spring onion pesto. It's delicious, I promise. So you guys just hang on tight, and as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes, so let's get going. I'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, so like I said, the star of the show is the pesto sauce, not the pasta. So what do you need to make a fresh spring onion pesto? Well, naturally, we'll need some fresh spring onions, greens and whites. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of basil. Here's we're going to add a little bit of crushed Greek oregano bulbs. We're going to add some freshly slivered combination Parmigiano, Reggiano, and Asiago cheese. Freshly slivered from the local deli. We're going to add some garlic. I got about four cloves here in oil. I keep a big jar of that in my refrigerator all the time. And we're going to use some pistachio nuts. We're going to use some virgin olive oil. So let's make some fresh spring onion pesto, shall we? Okay, so the way we do this is to puree the onions first and not add any garlic, uh, not add any olive oil. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to make fresh spring onion pesto is we're going to put our scallions into the food processor. Not going to put any oil into the food processor, processor just yet, okay? Because there's enough moisture in the spring onions to get them to puree down. Pulse chop it down. Okay. Once it stops moving, add a little olive oil. There we go. Next ingredient. Garlic. Alright, I can smell it from here. Now, I'm going to add my basil leaves. There we go. A little more olive oil. The lid back on. Pulse it. I'm going to use the rest of my olive oil. That's about a cup. And then the pistachios. Get those off the spindle. Okay. I'm going to put this pesto in a bowl and let you guys take a look. Hang tight. Okay, guys. There it is. Fresh spring onion pesto. I make this very thick. Okay. And I make it rusticated. I let the nuts be a little bit chunky. And if you can see, I have big chunks, big pieces of the basil leaves. The onions have obviously been pureed. It's a beautiful bright green color. It's very thick. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper to it. There we go. A little bit of black pepper. And I'm just going to mix that in. 
I'm not going to put any salt into it. Not yet, anyway, because the cheese, which you notice I didn't put in the processor, I'm going to put in by hand. I want you to do the pepper first. Here's the cheese. And here's the Greek oregano. And I just blend that in by hand. I don't want the cheese browned up with this recipe. Not like other pestos. Okay, got the black pepper, got the oregano, got the cheese. And I'm just going to mix it up like so. It'll end up dissipating on its own anyway. When I heat this up and drop the pasta on it, and then the other saute pan, when I heat some of this up and I drop some shrimp in it, you'll see. It's just going to fan out all over the pan. There we go. All right, so let's cook some pasta. Hmm, that's delicious. Be back in a minute. Okay, next step. Linguine goes in the water. Well salted water. Gonna cook this up for about 8 to 12 minutes. Gonna strain it. And then I'm gonna prepare the sauce. And we're gonna have some dinner. Okay, in this saute pan I'm cooking a little shrimp in my spring onion pesto. And I'm adding just a little feathering of sugar. And I'm adding the feathering of sugar because scallions, spring onions, can have a little bit of bitterness. I don't put the sugar into the entire pesto recipe when I put it in the food processor. I put it in separately. Okay. The cheese that I've added into this is melted in. And there it is. The shrimp are cooked. Okay. There it is. The shrimp are cooked. Now I'm going to set this aside for a second and I'm going to cook some of the pasta in the pesto sauce and then I'm going to plate it. Okay, there's my pasta that I'm cooking in a little bit of the pesto. And I'm going to add a little feather of sugar to the pasta just to cut any bitterness that you might experience from the spring onion pesto. And I'm going to mix it in. Isn't that a lovely green color? Don't you just love pesto? I love pesto. Cheese is all melted. All the ingredients have gotten hot. Everything's flowing. And there it is. Pasta with spring onion pesto. I'm going to plate this bad boy and then we're going to take a look. There you have it, guys. Pasta linguine with fresh spring onion pesto and shrimp. And just for a little add-on for color, because everybody here knows I like the heat. Just a little bit of pepperoncino. For contrast, great color. And there it is. I hope you try this dish. I know you'll really enjoy it. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. I thank you for watching. You take care and I'll see you on the next video. Hey guys. I want to thank you for stopping by my easy cooking channel tonight and let me do this little something something for you. Just as a little after note, I need to remind you, this pesto is onion and it is garlic. So if you have any intentions of kissing somebody tonight, if you know that you're going to be kissing somebody tonight, stay away from the fresh spring onion pesto. I'll see you in a couple weeks on the next video. You take care. Bye.